Hi guys, welcome to Nixa YouTube channel. My name is Ramishra and I am your online instructor. So what's in this video? In this video I will tell you how to encrypt and decrypt the files in Linux platform. So guys, let's begin the topic. So for the demonstration purpose, I have a lab scenario for you. Please look at that. Guys, this is my virtual box dashboard and here you can see I have two trusted virtual machine. First one is a Linux server which is in running condition and second one is a client machine which is also in running condition. So what I'm going to demonstrate to you, I create some data file on server one machine here and uh, then I will encrypt this file using some default available security tools and forward this encrypt file to the client machine and then try to decrypt and access it from there. Okay, so let's begin the lab session. So I will show you first of all my server machine and I'm logging with, uh, I click on the Linux server and click on the show button here Tim. So I'm logging with the root privilege first. So give the username root and the password, whatever the password you have set in your machine. Okay, I log in successfully. First of all, I will show you the host name and the OS release version and the IP address of this machine. So the command name is hostname ctl. You can see that static hostname is server1.example.com and currently I'm running Red Hat Enterprise Linux 8.0 and if I'm talking about the IP address, so we have the option hostname hyphen i and currently this machine IP address is 192.168.0.1. Okay, so let's start with the create some data file and uh, uh, try to encrypt this file and decrypt it. So I use VIM editor and make some important files. So I just start with VIM and the file name is, uh, in my case that is EIMP, it could be anything. So I press enter, go to the insert mode and type some pattern. Hi, mm, my admin password is one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so just save and quit from there and let's verify the file content via cat command so I can use cat and IMP okay so everything look good I can read the content of this file now I'm going to encrypt this file and share it with another machine so there are many tools that are available for encrypt and decrypt the file in Linux operating system I start first with gpg command so gpg gpg means gnu privacy guard which is the pre-install is in most Linux operating system which allow user to encrypt the file and sign them using the command line utility. To encrypt the file using a password use the gpg command with hyphen c option which is specifying that you want to use a symmetric encryption for your file. So syntax would be gpg hyphen c and the file name imp in my case that is imp. So hyphen c option is specifying that you want to use a symmetric encryption for our file and after that I specify the file name of uh, you want to encrypt so in my case gpg space minus c imp so once I press enter the gpg command will create a file without gpg extension which is the encrypted file that we want to store okay so I press enter it gave me a uh, prompt so I just assign the password say red hat and again just for example say red hat okay great so now if I run the ls minus l command let's see and now we can see we have a new encrypted file which is imp.gpg got it so now we can remove my old one there is no need of this file so I go with rm-rf and imp I remove it great now if you were uh, to inspect the content of this file using simple cat command you would not be able to see the content I'll show you I cat and important.gpg once I press enter look at that I show some garbage value so awesome we have successfully encrypted a file on Linux using gpg command now into the move to the next step which is where I am using scp command and I share this file to my client machine so I say scp important dot jpg and root at the rate 192.168.0.2 which is my client IP address just a client okay I press enter give the password to the client machine Okay, it's successfully sent from this machine to the my client machine. Now move to the client machine and we will decrypt it and try to open it. So I move to the my client machine. Here it is. So guys, this is my client machine. Firstly, I log in with root user. Give the password. Okay. Now let's verify the hostname, OS release version and the IP address of this machine. So same, I have the command hostname ctl. Look at that. The machine name is station1.example.com and the uh, operating system is RHEL 8.0. And if I talk about the IP address, hostname hyphen i, IP is 192.168.0.2. .2. 
okay so now if i run ls minus l command i got the file ls minus l see here it is imp.gpg uh, in my root user home directory if i try to read the content of this file using cat command i can't do that see cat imp.gz because it is encrypted so for decrypt this file or decryption what we have to do we have to again use gpg command so the syntax will be gpg and the file name whatever the file name you have imp.gpg i press enter again it asks for the password so give the password that is red hat great see again if i run the ls command you can see we have just successfully, successfully decrypted now again if i run the cat command to view the content i can do it easily cat imp great so this is how we can encrypt and decrypt the file using gpg command so this is the first method now let's discuss one more tool which is known as zip command so zip is is the uh, is one of the most famous archive format and it is so much famous that we will uh, generally call archive file as a zip file in day to day communication so again i move to the my server machine i have to go with server first okay here i am and uh, if you have not installed zip you may like to use apt or yum command and you can install it okay so now make one more data file so i just start with test this time i use my file name is test okay try to insert some data i love linux save it could from there okay cat test okay great now i'm going to encrypt this file using zip command so in order to encrypt a file using zip command use zip command zip and with hyphen hyphen e n c r y p t encrypt option and provide the zip name as well as the file to be encrypted so in my case i'm using a zip hyphen hyphen encrypt file name could be secure dot zip could be anything and space then after mention your the file which is going to be encrypted so in my case that is test so once i press enter it asks for the password so again i get the red hat and same repeat the same one red hat great now give the password and now it's encrypted so now if i run ls minus l command c we can see we got the new file named secure.zip which is in red color and it is encrypted so for so for be sure about that i remove my test file from this machine and share this new zip file to my trusted machine so rm minus rf i remove test one okay and again i run the same command scp secure dot zip 192.168.0.2 give the password okay now we have sent this file to my client machine it is shared successfully now I'm going back to my client machine and let's verify the file entry using ls minus l command. So I go my client again. ls minus l. See here it is secure.zip. So to open your encrypt archive, you can simply use unzip command. So when you type unzip and the file name secure.zip, unzip command and provide the password you just need it. So whatever we have used. So test give the password is that is Red Hat now ls minus l so now we can see that we can easily access it and i can say cat test yeah here it is so this is how we can use zip command for encrypt and decrypt the files okay now move to the another tool which is open ssl so open ssl is a command line cryptography tool which is used to encrypt a message as well as the file you may like to install open ssl if it is not already installed so again just make a new data file on the server side and encrypt it with open ssl utility okay so one more time i am going back to my server machine here it is and uh, i make to i make a new data file so this time name is linux type submit data important data is one two three four five six types of matter save and quit okay verify the entry using cat command cat linux great so now i'm going to encrypt this file using open ssl utility so command would be open ssl open ssl okay then encryption enc hyphen p b k d f to hyphen aes 256 hyphen base 64 hyphen 
input of file in my case input is that is Linux file hyphen output will be what would be it could be anything Linux dot I said ENC okay now once I press enter it asks for the password so give the password I said red hat again I repeat the same password red hat and if I run the ls command here we have ls minus l here we have Linux dot ENC so ENC means encoding with cipher pbkdf2 that means password based key derivation function 2 this is used for password hashing hyphen aes256 means we are using uh, the aes256 cbc cipher hyphen in means input of file hyphen out means output of file okay so now again i have shared this file to my trusted client so again one more time i use scp command linux.enc 192.168.0.2 press enter give the password okay it shared successfully now go back to the client side so I select one more time on my client machine here I am and if I run the ls command I got my linux.enc file here okay now the point how to decrypt this file so again we have to run the same open SSL command but this time we use hyphen D option which is used for the decryption so I run the command open SSL open SSL hyphen open SSL ENC hyphen D that is decryption hyphen P B K D F 2 hyphen A E S 256 hyphen base 64 input of file that is in my case Linux dot ENC and the output would be I said only Linux okay once I press enter again give the password that is Red Hat sorry I just mistake some typing error red hat great now if I run the ls command I got my Linux file and using cat command I can view the content of that file so cat Linux C important data is 1 2 3 4 5 6 so this is how we can encrypt and decrypt the file using open SSL utility now let's take another one more method which is encrypt the file using VIM editor even using VIM meter we can also encrypt and decrypt the file so using VIM meter we can also do the same tasks so again I am logging to server machine and make new data file using VIM meter so go back on the server one more time and start VIM and the file name it could be in my case file 1 type some matter hi how are you save and quit from there ok now if I run the cat command cat file 1 I can see the content of this file easily okay now I'm going to set the password in this file again with VIM editor how can I do that so command would be VIM hyphen X for encryption file name that is file 1 so I'm going to press enter okay enter the encryption key so set the password whatever you want so in my case I said red hat enter the same one I said red hat okay now after assigning the password save and quit from there so simple escape colon wq save and quit from there and now you got the message crypted okay so again i again if i try to open this file using cat command i can't do that see file one i got the garbage value okay so now again i'm going to share this file to my trusted client over the network using a cp command so scp file one 192.168.0.2 sorry press enter give the password it sends successfully okay go back to the client machine now I am on the client side if I try to open this file using cat command I can't read it so let's check first say ls command and here it is file 1 say cat file 1 look at that I can't read the content okay so the point is if you wanna if you if you wanna open this file or you wanna modifying it or if you wanna read it we have to give the password first so how can I do that VIM and the file one once I press enter it asks password first give the password that is in red hat I press enter now so we are able to read the content of this file but you can see at the bottom of the file it shows it is encrypted so if you wanna remove the password from this file we have the option we can type on the command mode colon capital X and the command mode okay press enter 
it asks for the encryption key so just press enter to blank key i said enter repeat the same one enter and now save and quit from there so call in wq great now i can run cat file one cat file one and press enter so it didn't ask anything and uh, we can easily view the content of this file okay so guys this is how we can encrypt and decrypt the file using different tools in linux platform and uh, share it over the network in a secure manner and finally this is the end of this topic hopefully you enjoyed and learned new things soon i will come up with another new interesting topic till then keep practicing if you feel something that you have uh, that I, you want to learn something more or if i uh, if i have missed you wanted to know more something is please leave your comment and subscribe my youtube channel for more updates if you like this video please do not forget to like share and subscribe my channel and press the bell icon button for the latest update thanks for watching stay safe and goodbye